it was one of these moments, and I didn't even have this moment when I started Tom's. A lot of people ask me when I started Tom's, like, did you have like an epiphany? Was there like a vision? Was there a note from God? Like, what was it that caused you to go from like an entrepreneur who just was starting businesses to make money to like, I want to create a company to help people. But this moment is the moment that people have been asking about my whole life if I've had, and now I can say I did have it. And that was, I got off the phone, I shut my laptop, and I just knew that that someone was me. Side note, I don't love guns. In fact, um, I don't think I've fired a gun since I was 17 years old on a camping trip with friends out in Joshua Tree. Just like you're shaking, I'm gonna get on this finger off the trigger. Two hand grip, just like that. Just remember you wanna take your front sight and put it in your rear sight and it'll look something like this. Just glance out of the corner of your eye. There you go, nice bend to the knees. I've heard you tell the story, but maybe you could retell it here, about why now is the time to take a stand and as a company, as a brand, sure. get behind trying to eliminate gun violence. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was, I know it wasn't a case of like determining now is a good time and more a very visceral, um, spontaneous response to a tragedy that happened close to my family. So, you know, I remember when Parkland happened and just in, in, in watching the Parkland kids on the debate on CNN and just how, just like, um, how, how, how strong uh, their voices were for needing a change and having um, gun legislation really looked at in a more sensible way. And I remember watching that and thinking, Good for those kids. I support what they do. I signed up to get the text messages. You know, that was that. Then I remember hearing about the next shooting and the next shooting. And I remember feeling of, a feeling of like, this is, this is kind of like a really horrible thing that's going on in our country, but it never was a personal thing to me. It never was something like, oh, I'm gonna go get involved in right. that, right? And then in November 8th, so, you know, not that long ago, um, there was a shooting in Thousand Oaks, which is about 20, 15, 20 minutes from my house. And I didn't know about it because uh, it had happened that night and I was on my way to work the next morning. And my wife called me and I was in the back of the Uber working on some emails, kind of pretty focused on work. And so I answered the phone and she's like really, really emotional. And she says, did you see the news? And I said, no. And she said, there was another shooting. You know, this time it happened literally just down the street from us and I'm not taking our son to school today. And I was like, why? And she's like, I don't think it's safe. There was been shootings in schools. There was one in a yoga studio. There was one in a synagogue. Like, how do I know that someone's not gonna come in to his preschool, which is a Jewish preschool, and pull out a gun? And I was like, well, babe, we don't, you don't know that, but you, yeah. you can't like, you know, make every decision out of fear because of this happened close to us. And then I started really understanding like where she was, was probably where a lot of people were at this point because it had gotten so many shootings that their proximity was probably 15 minutes from a lot of people. Well, it's just so pervasive, so ridiculous. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we, so she gets off the phone and she says to me, she says, you know, someone has to do something about it. And it was one of these moments, and I didn't even have this moment when I started Tom's. A lot of people ask me when I started Tom's, like, did you have like an epiphany? Was there like a vision? Was there a note from God? Like, what was it that caused you to go from like an entrepreneur who just was starting businesses to make money to like, I want to create a company to help people. 
And it was actually no, it's like a creative idea, like could be interesting, let's make 200 pairs, let's see what happens. It's an experiment. Yeah, it's an experiment. But this moment is the moment that people have been asking about my whole life, if I've had, and now I can say I did have it. And that was, I got off the phone, I shut my laptop, and I just knew that that someone was me. I didn't know why, I didn't know how, but I knew that like, I had a platform and Tom's as my business had a reach that could make a difference in this topic. Yeah. I didn't know how exactly, but I knew that we needed to do something. Like, because at Tom's, we have given so many shoes and so many people their eyesight through our, our sunglass program, but we've been like itching for the past couple of years to do something bigger, to do something different, to do, take a stand on something. And so it was already kind of in my head, like we need to do something that is relevant to the issues of our time. And it was just all this like, this is it. Like if there's a time, let's do it now. Now, it was incredibly inconvenient because it was a week before um, Black Friday and Cyber Week, our biggest sales week of the year. And it was also very inconvenient because, you know, we, our business was not in a place where we could just afford to give up sales to dedicate all of our attention to ending gun violence. Sure. But I just knew that this was something we had to do. So I sent an email to our board, um, to my partners, uh, to our CEO, and said, guys, like, if not us, who, if not now, when? You know, that, that, that great Jewish proverb. And, and, and over about three or four days, I convinced them that this, you know, by no means I was convincing them that this would be great for business, but I, I knew that it would be the right thing for our staff because, I, I mean, it happened so close. Like, I think they were feeling very much the same way my wife was. And I knew that it would be a way that it would re-engage a lot of the people um, who maybe were with us in the beginning of Tom's because we were truly an activist brand. And I think we started as an activist brand. We were very radical, as you said. No one was doing this. And then six years later, we were a big brand, and everyone was doing some form of giving. Yeah, everyone jumped on the bandwagon. Yeah. And so yeah. this would be a way to shock the system and be like, holy shit, like Tom's is really going out there now on a limb. And, and, and I knew that we needed to do that. Like something in my gut just said, this is what we need to do. And I knew we could be impactful because I learned about some of the things that were happening in the, in the gun violence space. Specifically, I learned about universal background checks. And I learned about that on day two. And when I learned about that, I recognized, okay, there is a very moderate, non-political, because 90% of Americans are in favor of universal background checks, way to approach this. I want to go back to when you approached the board about yeah. this, because there might be some lessons or, or nuggets there sure. for other people who are trying to you know, maybe go against the grain or buck the system or yep. do something different. Um, what kind of pushback did you get and how hard did you have to wrestle? Like, did you have to, did you have to talk about numbers? Like, like we're going to lose this much, but it's worth it because, or like, did you just have to say, this was the right thing to do. I know it in my gut. Yeah. And, gut, guts don't really work real well with boards, yeah, so, <laughs> especially financial partners. So unpack that a little yeah. bit so, so others can learn sure. the same kind of exercise. I, I, I think the, the biggest thing was the board questioned, and I think they were, um, they were mistaken at first in thinking that we did not have the right or the, res or, uh, the, or the credibility to play in this space. So they basically said, look, there are every town and, and March for Our Lives and Mothers Demand Action and amazing nonprofits that have dedicated tens of millions of dollars in years to trying to have sensible gun legislation. Yeah. You are not a political person. I'm not at all. Like, I didn't even know who Mitch McConnell was when this started. Like, I mean, that's how non-political I, I am. So, like, you're not political. Tom's is not a political brand. Like, we've never done anything about gun violence. How do we go from giving shoes to kids to taking us down gun violence? Like, I just don't understand how the customer is going to understand this. And, and, and that was their position. And so they said, like, personally, we totally agree on this. Like, yeah. actually, some of our board members are really big donors to every town and other organizations. They're like, but I just don't see how Tom shows up here. Well, and it does sound like a fair and logical argument. Yeah, it was a good. Yeah. But my argument back was Tom's is not a shoe company. We are a movement when we are best. And we exist for a better tomorrow. It's in our name. 
It's the reason I started Tom's. I just used shoes for the last 12 years to fund the idea that we can create a better tomorrow through business. And I believe that if we take a stand and make a big contribution, which turned out to be the largest contribution in the history of the United States to this issue, that we can create a better and safer tomorrow. And that's the business that we're in. And so that's ultimately what I had to convince them, that our business was bigger and had, a, and, 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 and had permission to engage in a topic like this, even though it wasn't obvious like when you looked at it on paper. And I think the only reason that I ultimately won it was going back to the gut thing, which I say is not the thing I led with, because no one, I don't think has a good argument. But ultimately, we had to look each other in the eyes. And I said, guys, you invested in me, and you supported me up until this point. And I've never, in the because I've been with these partners for four years, I've never said, we have to do anything. I've actually changed some of my ideas and strategies and philosophies based on your guidance. I said, but this is the time, I might be the only time where I'm telling you every single thing in my body says, we have to do this now. Not only because it's the right thing to do, but because it will re-engage and re-motivate this movement. And, uh, and I think that conviction was stronger than their conviction of, I don't know if we can play here. You went to the mat. I love <laughs> yeah, it. I went to the mat. I love it. Yeah, I mean, the first thing I heard about it, it's it struck a chord right away for two reasons. One, because I've got kids, mm, yeah, and that's and one of the main. Yeah, it's been on my mind constantly. Sure. Um, and the other thing is, about ten years ago, I had a gun violence experience where it was right when I was starting my production company. We were in this small little studio space. It was like eight o'clock at night. Four or five of us were in the office, just sort of editing. I hear this loud crash, walked out front, kind of in the front lobby area to figure out what it was. Three really big guys, all tatted up, no masks or anything, come barreling in with guns, guns ablazing. Gun was put right to my forehead, um, told me to, you know, get, corralled all of us into this room, put us kind of execution style on the ground. And for a minute I thought, okay, I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. Like, I just sort of made some generalizations like no, no mask or cover up. Okay, these guys don't care yeah. who sees them. Yeah. Does that mean I'm going to die tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and I remember we kind of looked at cool. each other on the ground thinking, should we do something? Get yeah. up and fight for our yeah. life? Yeah. Or it was cool. And it was, it was a moment of you know, very uh, surreal is the best way to explain it. Sure. But also terrifying. But at, at that moment, I sort of felt calm yeah. like, just chill out, let like, go. Yeah. just let them take what they're going to take. Anyway, so, uh, and it was terrifying too because they took my ID and they read it out loud and they said, you know, my name and they read off my driver's license, my address, yeah. and if you call the police, we're coming to get you, all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. And it was like, oi, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was heavy. But, you know, so ever since, um, you know, that was a moment, every time I see one of these shootings happen or, you know, I sort of think about that and I think how terrifying it is and how awful it is that, this is still such a yeah. big problem in the United States. Yeah. And I'm so happy, you know, I signed up on the site. I went, you know, did my postcard. Great, thank you. So tell us what the vision is for yeah. that. So you're now going to go in this sort of caravan, right? In yeah. This, yeah, it's uh, wrapped. And I mean, so yeah, so what we recognized with this idea that universal background checks was a very simple, very moderate, kind of the least political, polarizing part of the Indian Gun Violence Initiative. It's a good place to start. Yeah, because it basically keeps felons from buying guns, yeah. people who are domestic abusers, and people who have mental health issues. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, if, 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 if you're not one of those three, then you will pass your background check and you can buy a gun. Yeah. But those three contribute to a lot of gun violence, and so, especially the, the felons aspect. And so, one of the things that we recognize is Every, that this was going to be legislation that would be presented in the House in 2019. And the only way that it would get passed in a bipartisan way, which is going to potentially allow it to become a law, is if Americans in every state and every territory made their voices heard. Hey, I'm a proud gun owner, but I'm also a father to a young son. And I don't want him going to school scared. So if you're like me, you're like 90% of other Americans who want universal background checks. I just saw a statistic that said there were 307 mass shootings in the last 311 days in our country, which is terrifying and devastating. And as a proud gun owner myself, that's a right and a privilege that I take very, very serious, as I know a lot of you guys do too. 
Um, but I think we can all come together and all agree that something has to change. Um, it's unacceptable. We shouldn't have to walk out of the house and live in fear anymore. Um, so let's come together as a country. Let's do our part. Um, Tom's is doing a really cool campaign right now to raise awareness uh, for universal background checks. And I know there's a lot of factors that's going to go into uh, really making some change, but this is an easy thing that we can all do. And when I spoke to different people, because I had no political background at all, I said, what can we do? What can Tom's do? I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to get $5 million, largest contribution ever to these nonprofits. But what can we actually do to, to affect the politics of this? And one of the people that I was speaking to, he said, postcards. He says, old-fashioned postcards. He says, when those representatives get a lot of postcards and they're from people in their constituency, they listen. So I just have this vision of Miracle on 34th Street <laughs> where they come in and they pour all yeah. the envelopes yeah. from Santa. Is yeah. that the intention? Yeah, that's the intention. So what okay. we started with was we built a simple technology on the website on the homepage during Black Friday and Cyber Week. So we gave up a lot of sales to have this as the main real estate. And in 30 seconds or less, and still today, for the next couple of weeks, you can still do it. I can, did it. It is oh, fast. Yeah you, did, yeah. yeah, you go to the website, yeah. you put in your name, name and, and address. It's and all it, basically yeah, turnkey. It's, it's super simple. So in yeah. 30 seconds, you can do it. So we've had 716,000 Americans and yourself do postcards. That's, I mean, phenomenal. I mean, that's a massive amount of people to speak out so clearly about something. Well, and so quickly. Yeah, and so in eight weeks. Yeah, you mobilized. Yeah, almost you know, a million people in eight weeks. That's that, crazy. That we, that without any marketing either. I mean, this all happened virally. Like, we were literally, I, I launched it on Jimmy Fallon, and he sent the first postcard, which helped, because then 50,000 people did it immediately. Yeah. But then from those 50,000, th it just grew. And, and so... Well, talk about signals. I mean, that's... That's a signal, right? Yeah. Like the people have spoken kind of signal. Yeah. And like. so now what, and I take no responsibility for this great idea. This was, the, this was the creative team at Tom's. They said, you know what? To send 716,000 postcards is going to cost us, you know, like a quarter of a million dollars. What if we drove all those postcards across the country and hand delivered them to the 500 representatives in Congress? That would be more impactful and it would cost us less money. Yeah. And, I said, and you Great. create a spectacle. Yeah, and so that's what we're doing. So we launched it today. Um, the tour is going to go on for about two and a half weeks. We're going to be in Washington, D.C., February 5th. And so if you're watching this right now and you want to come join us, please do. We hope that there'll be thousands of volunteers that will help us hand deliver these postcards on February 5th. And, uh, and we believe, because that's going to be about two to three weeks before the vote, so we believe that will be a, a really uh, important indicator and, 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 and influence on many of the votes that will happen for universal background checks. That's amazing. It's well, been fun. Well, we're certainly going to help support it.